uh, Pastor Rory Jensen. She's been an apostle and a prophet to the, the nations, particularly the islands. I know she's ministered all over the world in India and so on, but uh, Philippines, but Fiji, Bougainville, uh, Tonga as well, and she's seen such a powerful move of God. So let's welcome uh, Pastor Rory Jensen. Oh, thank you, Pastor. What a joy tonight to be able to gather with so many people to to just call on the name of the Lord, and uh, especially at a time such as this, as we've already mentioned. Um, you, you know, we've all been locked in our families and we've all been, over the years, uh, calling out for revival. Who would have thought that maybe God was planning that the family might be the container of revival? And um, so it's just been, tonight I've been asked to play, pray for the generations and also for the harvest among the multicultural people in the south part of Brisbane and Logan City. So it's an honour to do that. Let's, let's just lift up before the Lord this whole generational family um, container that's going to be the host for, I believe, for this great move of God that's coming. So, Father, in the powerful name of Jesus, we, we come before you tonight with hearts that are full of praise and worship and thanksgiving and adoration. And we're overwhelmed at who you are because you don't change and you go on forever and your mercies never change. And blessing comes from generation to generation to generation to generation. And, Father, I just want to pray for the families tonight on this south side of Brisbane, for generations of, of, of people who have been walking in your way and, uh, Lord, where there's been where there's been gaps in generations and misunderstandings, I just see that as your spirit floods the place, that the the fear and the pain and the hurt of families will be just washed away and that, Father, there'll be such a reconciliation and such a reunion of families and, and, and we will have a launching of your spirit from the front doors of many homes. And, and so, Father, we just want to say thank you and praise your name for that. Lord, I think of the of the south side of Brisbane and Logan City and the the incredible numbers of people that you have brought to our land from the lands uh, across the seas, um, Lord. And we think particularly of of the Pacific Islands, of the, the Tonga and Samoa and Fiji and the Solomons. Um, and in Papua New Guinea and Bougainville, God, not to not to forget those who've come from further afield, India and the Chinese, and so many that have found in South Brisbane and the Logan area, they've found a home. And uh, Lord, we just pray that 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 this you would open our eyes to the harvest and to the mission field, the people from Myanmar that are just coming, flooding in. We, we bless that, Lord, and we see, we see that here is our mission field. Here is an opportunity to bless and to touch and to minister to these people, Lord, so that they will indeed reach out and touch others. I ask that you would, uh, Lord, touch the hearts of these people who are hurting and broken, have come from such sad backgrounds. Lord, we, we call on your name. We think of those, uh, again, of the Pacific Islands, Lord. And when you said to go unto the uttermost, from Jerusalem, the uttermost of the islands of the Pacific. And so we, we call from the uttermost, Lord, and, and we welcome we welcome them in. And, Father, as we just pray and it's prayed so much and across this nation. And I feel that the Lord is saying that the cup is full. <laughs> that the, the, the cup of prayer that that's just been accumulating over many years and even decades. And the prayers that have gone on even from the Suncorp Stadium that we heard about earlier with the Moravians that gathered there and gave of their lives for the peoples of the Pacific. Just how awesome, how wonderful is that? 
And so, Father, we just we just come before you and we bless these people. We pray for such a harvest, such a harvest among these people, such a great harvest, Lord, that um, that they will go to their own to their own nationalities. They'll go to their own people and be able to communicate in ways that we will never be able to do. Turn their hearts, Lord. Turn our hearts towards them and turn their hearts towards those of their people groups, that the harvest will be absolutely amazing, that there'll just be an outpouring of such of your spirit, that the harvest come, let the fullness of your Holy Ghost just blow us away, Lord. We just give you thanks for what you're going to be doing on this south side of Brisbane. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Rory. I believe this. You know, there's an impartation. Uh, uh, Pastor Rory, could we just go back to you? Could you just stretch forth your hands and just declare that a missional, missionary anointing uh, to send forth laborers to the islands, to the nations? Because I know you've done that and there's fire. I I just sense that. You've, You've just released that anointing. Could you just do that? Thank you, yes, Pastor Rory. Father, we, 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 we release, I release that missional anointing, that anointing when Jesus said, go, where we, we call it the great commission, the going out. Father, we call on your name, and I release now the anointing of the Holy Spirit to go into these places that seemingly are like nothing places, but, but these people who understand and are hungry to receive the word. I release those who are watching tonight, those who are listening tonight. I ask Holy Spirit that you would give them dreams and you would fill their hearts with the fire of God, that they will go to places that they never thought of and, and, and move and see a, a powerful wind of your spirit and, and a fire of God started in some of these out-of-the-way places. We bless that, Lord, and I pray for this impartation now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Amen. We receive that. Lord, do that again. Amen. Do it again. We're going to see an army raised up.